Hey EXO gang, Carlos Valdez here, coming to you live from my headquarters. Uh, wanted to make another video about the Cinemaster 2 and talk about a little, uh, a, com a common problem that I believe some users might be experiencing and hopefully, as always, to help people out. So Cinemaster 2, love this drone. I know there's a lot of opinions about it. And listen, I, I'm not here to argue anyone. You can form your own opinion. I've had this drone for several months and I absolutely love it. It's very, very stable, and I've always had a great experience flying with it. Um, great pics, great footage. I love it. Uh, again, there's mixed opinions about it, uh, and everyone's entitled to that, but I love it, and I love all my EXO drones. So again, this is just to help people. I want to talk about apps today real quick. Uh, so originally when the Cinemaster 2 was released, it used an app called X-Drone. And uh, a few months ago, that app, uh, which is still available, uh, EXO came out with the actual Cinemaster 2 app. And I would highly recommend that you use the Cinemaster 2 app. Of course, it's branded by EXO. Uh, both apps are actually identical. Um, there are no differences that I have found in features, but obviously the app that EXO now supports is the Cinemaster 2 app. Uh, there's a number of users out there that have the Cinemaster 2 that may still be using the X-Drone app, and that's fine. It will still work. However, I would encourage you to update to the Cinemaster 2 app. Um, the other thing that I will say is some users may have not even known that there's an updated app, and that's because, of course, in the manual for the Cinemaster 2, uh, if you purchased it previous to the newer app, that's going to list the X-Drone app as the app to use. And unfortunately, I don't know that EXO has, you know, the, the, the power to, uh, or the, or the, I guess the ability to email every single user that already has a Cinemaster 2 to tell them about the updated app. So hopefully this raises some awareness about it um, and uh, gets the information out there. Now, the problem that I want to talk about is iPhone users. Okay, I posted a video about this on the EXO drone owners page a few months back and on Facebook and if you search my name Carlos Valdez on that page if you're a member of that page you can find uh, a bunch of videos that I have about uh, you know several dro several of the EXO drones the Cinemaster 2 being one of them and I have some screenshots of this I unfortunately can't produce screenshots anymore because I've updated my iOS version so the problem that I want to talk about is if you're using a Cinemaster 2 and you're using an iPhone, it could be an iPhone 12, this is an iPhone 12, it could be an iPhone 13. However, if you're using an iPhone with an older iOS version, at the time that I made that video earlier this year, um, I was using iOS, it was actually late last year, uh, I was actually using iOS 15.2, 15.2.1 but in essence 15.2 and on that iOS version when you're using the X drone app which is the app I was using at the time as well as the Cinemaster 2 app I would imagine iOS 15.2 or earlier used to have a setting uh, when you go into your settings and you go to the X drone app there used to be a setting called local network and if the local network setting was disabled which I believe it was disabled by default, then you're gonna have a problem with the drone connecting to your phone. So it will work, you'll, um, you'll get video, but you'll get like a TX error across the screen in the app. The app will not see the drone. You're, you'll be able to fly it because the controller will work, um, but you would not be, and you would, you would actually be able to take pictures and video from the controller. It would record to your SD card, then you could pull the SD card out and look at it on a computer and it would work fine. But as far as being actually uh, being able to have FPV, which is first person video on the actual app, that would not work if you don't have the local network access enabled. Now iOS has been updated and I don't know if it was version 15.3 or version 15.4 where this happened because I now am on version 15.4 of iOS that option is now gone both in the X drone app and also on the Cinemaster 2 app which is the app that I use I just downloaded the X drone app a few minutes ago just to check 
and apparently iOS 15.4, the newest version, they've taken that feature or that um, setting away in this particular app and I would imagine in many other apps. So that's going to cause a problem if you're using an older version of iOS and you have that setting disabled and when you first install the application, I believe that setting is disabled. Uh, so there are probably a number of users out there that are having this problem or have had this problem and I would imagine that there's probably some users that have even sent drones back to EXO as defective. Maybe a support pilot couldn't quite figure it out. Maybe it was you know, something that uh, they overlooked or that as a user we overlook. We are all human and you may have, some users may have sent the drone back to EXO to have a replacement drone shipped and I would also imagine, although I don't know, there might be users that already shipped the drone back and are going to get a new Cinemaster 2 from EXO as a replacement and might run into this problem again. So my advice to you is one of two things. If you're using an iPhone and you have a Cinemaster 2, check your iOS version first. If it is iOS 15.2 or earlier, update your iOS version. Uh, not everyone likes to do that, I get it. If you do not want to update your iOS version and you're using a Cinemaster 2 and you have iOS 15.2 or earlier, again, if you don't want to update the iOS version, you need to make sure that whether you're using the X Drone app or the Cinemaster 2 app, which is the one that I would recommend, that you go under your settings for your iPhone, you scroll down to that app, and for example, the X Drone app. And once you go into settings and you scroll down, you pick the X Drone app, you will see on iOS 15.2 or earlier a setting that says local network access. And you need to make sure that that is enabled. If it is not enabled, you're not going to get FPV video on your phone when you connect to the Cinemaster 2. If you enable it, it will work. Again, I posted a video about this on the EXO drone owners page. If you uh, if you search my name, Carlos Valdez, V-A-L-D-E-S is the last name. A lot of people spell it with a Z. If you search my content on that page, you'll find that video. I'm glad I posted it because I can't remake that video now that I've updated my iOS. But if you want to see it, it's actually a screen recording on my phone. And it shows you how to enable it, how to disable it, what happens when you enable it, what happens when you disable it, and how you don't get first-person video on your phone. So I think this is a common problem that folks are having. You might have iOS 15.2 or earlier and you might switch from the X Drone app to the Cinemaster 2 app and you still might have that problem. There's no way for me to verify that because I've updated my iOS version. But I just wanted to put the awareness out there because I know it can be frustrating when your new drone is not working and you're exciting and you want it, you're excited and you want to fly it. And unfortunately, uh, this is a really not an EXO problem. It's an iOS problem for iPhone users. I'm not sure if this happens on Android or if that setting is even present or what the deal is. I don't really use Android phones. I'm an iPhone user. Um, but again, I wanted to raise the awareness and put it out there because this uh, can be a frustrating problem and can maybe even cause you to uh, you know return your drone for absolutely no reason there's a gentleman that contacted me today or that I was talking to today on the EXO drone owners page and I'm hoping that he uh, can resolve his issue by uh, doing these steps or updating his iOS version so I'm waiting to hear back from him I would love to know if it worked um, and again love to help uh, anyone out there uh, if you're on the EXO drone owners page uh, and you need some help, uh, you know, obviously send me a message if you'd like or tag me in your post and I'll always do what I can. Um, I am not affiliated with EXO, guys. I do not work for EXO. I just own a lot of their drones. I own the Blackhawk. I own the Scout. I used to own the Ranger. I own the Cinemaster 2. And obviously I am anxiously and anxiously awaiting the Blackhawk 2. And uh, I have to find a way somehow to buy that drone. I know it's going to be a little pricier it's going to be one of their better drones and it's going to be significantly uh, higher priced i'm sure uh, my original black hawk i paid a you know a good amount of money for and i love the drone it's my favorite it's fantastic um, but i love all my exo drones my cinemaster 2 uh, is a, probably a short second uh, favorite to me but um, 
got to count my pennies and put away my uh, put my funds in my piggy bank uh, for that Black Hawk 2, which I'm anxiously awaiting for. Uh, I think any day now should be coming out. I heard early April, so Chris Crosby, if you're out there listening, get that thing released, man. Get that thing released and let us know how much it's going to be because uh, I'm sitting here counting dollars and pennies and nickels and dimes trying to raise a, raise a, a little piggy bank fund for myself. Uh, dying to get my hands on one and uh, and really do some cool stuff and test and maybe make some more videos to help users out. Um, again, guys, if this is helpful to someone, please comment. Um, please let me know your feedback. I'll be posting this on the ESO, EXO Drone Owners page. I'll also post this to YouTube, uh, hopefully to waste, raise some awareness of folks that might be using uh, iOS 15.2 or earlier and using a Cinemaster and are having you know some problems with it. This probably contributes to maybe other problems that may occur with the Cinemaster 2, I'm not sure. But I'm on iOS 15.4. I am using the updated Cinemaster 2 app and this thing is solid for me. I love it. I've never once had a single issue. I have over 25 flights with this thing and uh, it's amazing. So hopefully this helps someone and as always guys, happy flying. Thank you.